talk raw, where we smoke, we drink, we keep it real, and we tell y'all how we feel about these sports, you dig? It's your man, Chrome in the building, man. Trush Mo, tell him what's up. What up, peoples? Yeah, man, we're back with another one to do what we do, what we do, man. So we look, go ahead and let us sprinkle you with a little bit of this sports information, how we do it. But before we dive into that, of course, we have to name what we drink and what we smoking. Shout out to the Honey Badgers, man. That's my Badge. guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Some flavorful wax, man. I forgot the name of it. That's how bomb of it is, man. Hey, it was fire. It got me got cotton mouth and everything. I was <laughs> like, mm, need to pull over. I need a drink for sure. Got something to sip on. And you know me, man. I'm done with the beer and trying, you know, simmer down. So I'm on the wine. He's watching his figure. Off the Chardonnay right now, man. So shout out to Yosemite, whoever you are. And right here, I want a little form. Got me a Sparrow. I don't know what made me want to get it. I seen it. I was going to get an IPA. But it was only like 6%, and I was like, you know what? It's not even that strong. We can get a Sapporo. Sapporo, Sapporo, or Sapporo? I don't know if we're butchering Sapporo. the name. Sapporo. Or not. It's Sapporo. But the can looks nice. Hey, and actually, if you hold it, it got all these little indentions, and it feels a little different. Mm, there, you, and there you have it. I guess so it doesn't slip or something? I don't know. <laughs> but I, you did something different, so kudos to you for making a different tall can. And there you have it, from Trishmo personally. Let's get started with a little bit of hometown. You know how I like to do, man. Shout out to my good old Golden Knights, man. Them good old Golden Knights, man. Even though we are kind of on a slid right now, right, Trish? Moore? Yeah, we lost with three in a row, but it's extremely early in the season. But you know what I'm noticing this year? They like to play the high risk, high reward. Like, it's either we going to win by five or lose by two, but still lose. I don't like that. But when we win, we make up those points. So, in the long, in the grand scheme of things, to make playoffs, they're still doing actually pretty okay, but when you watch them play, it looks a little shaky. Like at times. We give up stupid goals, our defense be sloppy at times, but when we like there's not too many games we got like we lost by a lot. So it's different when the wins really don't matter as much to make playoffs. Like the way to see it, the games, you got to kinda of look at it as skew. Right. And um it is I mean, for those that don't know, it is as a point system out there. But the wins do get you points, so wins do matter to me in my eyes. They're just, they don't. They, I mean, they just don't. They don't count as much as points. They don't count as much as the goals. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because they can make more goals and still catch the loss, but winning still is a good moral for the team. Uh, and yeah. it's still a point too. And so Who don't want to win? So if you lose by one point, whether it's a goal or it's a win, you're gonna wish you got that win, even if it was with one goal, because it gives you an extra point. So it's like it's just a bonus point over whatever you get in your regular thing. That's how I look at it. As a bonus point over whatever goals yeah. you get for the game. If if you win, you win, oh, throw a point. You should get like two points. Yeah, well, then they make winning more valuable than scoring. You know what I mean? But it, it's like that in every other sport. When I found this out about hockey, it blew my mind. I'm like, what? That's different. Mm -hmm. And it actually makes me look out. They're winning. Like, like when we lose games... As long as I hate to say it, it's like 10 to 9, we got 9, that's still 9 points towards our division. So, we've lost a game, we may have lost a battle, but we haven't lost a war. And uh, speaking of which, um, I think we've got the uh, Capitals coming up playing them. And it's, that's going to be a rough game, man, so hopefully we can pull that out, man. Hey, so, man, they just won the Stanley Cup. So. Go Knights, go. You know what I'm saying? Show them how Vegas do it. VGK, man. Speaking of some hometown stuff, I still want to stay on the hometown. Shout out my UNLV Rebels, you know what I'm saying? Basketball. Football, too, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we're on to some basketball now because hey, the football season uh, is The football team, no, nah, not yet. They still have a chance to almost make the, what's that, the Las Vegas Bowl. Only have a small chance, but it's still there, man. I haven't rolled them all the way out because like, mathematically it's possible, but only mathematically is it possible. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to keep hope. And UNLV, they, they were hooping, though. They actually played uh, Kansas State today, I believe. And uh, not even, uh, they played Kansas State. And mm, they lost in overtime, but that's their good team, you know what I'm saying? They're Vegas teams have been losing in overtime. As long as y'all, I don't want to see no blowouts, and y'all just keep fighting, even to lose in overtime means that, you know, you almost you just, have to fight enough. Yeah, you just got to fine tune a little couple things. Mm -hmm. One different rebound, a block out, you know. That means you got the right things going, you just need to finish it. Just polish it up a little bit. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it with that. Um, did you want to touch on anything else, college basketball? I mean, shout out to Duke. They did their thing. Hey. Shout out to uh, Kentucky, was it? No. Nah. Michigan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Shut up. That, that, that opening game, how it happened, having one, two, three, and four. Like, I think college basketball, that's more, it was more of a deal to me because those, like, with their power rankings early in the season normally shows, like, those teams are really good. So it's not like one of the teams are just going to slip up and not be, you know, like, good by the end of the season. Like, they got college basketball down pretty well. Do you like college basketball more than NBA or do you like college football more than NFL? I don't know why this popped in my head. It just popped in my head. Um... Cause I know with the people. basketball first, I definitely have, I'll go with uh, NBA because before because whatever reason, men's college basketball still only plays two halves, not four quarters. I don't get it. It's just it's weird. And like uh, what's call it? They be having low scoring games. It just looks weird. It just looks bad. But football, I like the NFL too more. But college football is great. Like you can see when they're young, like when Lamar Jackson was out. Like some of these people when they're out there playing. It's a show to be had. Yeah, I like I like college football a lot too. I like the NFL more, and I still do. But I'm leaning towards college football a little bit just because of the fact that the scores are so high, and sometimes it's yeah, just like out of control. they score seventy six. Like you, you don't find no games like that in the NFL unless like Mahomes goes crazy or something like that. Or the you Panthers are playing yeah, the Niners. You know what I'm saying? And we will get to that NFL. Don't you, don't you worry about it. Don't you even worry about that for mm. one second. Matter of fact, you want to you want to go there? Cause we can go there. Yeah, we can go there. The I want to ask, actually, ask you about these Panthers, man. So, you think Cam Newton's done? No. I so don't do think, think for any reason. he's still going to be a Panther? I hope so. But I our new so. owner, uh, yeah, our new owners, man, we got some little, they go by the numbers, analytics, they don't know football. So, if we let Cam go this year, they can save $21 million. I was just talking about it earlier. I don't know when they, while they even say we can save. They're billionaire owners. They're not losing any money. Under the cap, son. Under so who the cap. cares about the cap? No, you have to be under the cap. Or what? Uh, or you get fined. Or that's a, like a, that's fine. We'll that. take a fine because we have billionaire on. They have I to hate. get under the cap, or then you get more penalized. Penalized. I don't know what they do. They get under. No, the I know cap that. I know they act like you have to be, but you do got every be. team is a billionaire. Even the Browns. None of these teams are poor. But like I said, even on other shows, I want to Cam to sit out the whole season from jump. And now they, everyone's seeing how weird and funny this Liz Frank injury is. Yeah, he's going to sit out. Like, yeah, the last couple of years we've been up and down with Cam, but he's been hurt. He had two soldier surgeries and his knee was messed up. So if he's sitting out this whole season, he's actually going to have time to heal. He ain't getting hit every, every play like he does on our team because he's the most hit quarterback in the league. So when, if he sits out this year, if his shoulder is okay after this surgery, he had a whole year out, and his foot heals and his knee's good, Cam's going to be right back to that beast that he always is. Because even like last season, until he was hurt, he was playing like a monster. But when you lose eight in a row, you get all these naysayers. So, Well, obviously they got a good defense. So it's not just the offense and Cam Newton because their backup quarterback came in and did a good job. Kyle too. Allen. So I'm going to say, is Cam Newton done? Possibly, but check this out. If his foot injury continues and doesn't allow him to get on the field, then I'm thinking, not is he done as far as can he go to another team? Of course, Cam Newton can go to another team and play. I think the Panthers should keep him. But if this foot injury doesn't get better and this keeps becoming as a problem, then yeah, Cam Newton could be done depending on what's wrong with his foot. Yeah, with this list, Frank, though, they say when people have this injury, 90% of them return to what they were. And there's always that other 10%. Yeah, there's 10%, but there's a high probability he's gonna be, it's, he'll be fine. But it's a long rehab. Yeah, and see, it's a long rehab, and you're very optimistic, and your hopes are high. And I'm not mad at you for being a Panther fan, but we'll um, see how it pans and, yeah, out. Injuries and 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 being a tall, as tall and as heavy as he is, and mm -hmm. as athletic as he is, and be able to move what he does. That foot is a very important part of his game and, and of everything, man. But we'll see what it is. But uh, hey, Kyle Allen, man, we've been winning with you, but you're not the answer, man. Uh. Mahomes is coming back, man. Uh, they play uh, Tennessee coming up. Um, you think they're throwing him back in too soon, or you think? Because he, he, um, with his kneecap foul out of place, I've known that this happened to a couple people, and I hate to say it, it sounds real bad, but it's not as bad as it, it happened seems. to you. No. You don't know that. Because I've seen it happen. You seen it happen? <laughs> yes. 
He's trying to just step on the bus. Kneecap was all on the side. It's the nastiest thing I ever Somebody seen. Somebody put it back in place? Yes, they did. And did he walk it off? Yes. It'd just be real sore and it's tender. But if you have a knee brace on, you can make sure that never happens again. So Patrick probably be playing with a knee brace? Yes, he's going to be playing with the knee brace. Even if he doesn't need it, it's just going to be recommended so it don't move around like that. Like, I know it sounds like, what if it happens again? Well, that I hate to say it, it can happen to anybody. And I, I heard him say this, like, and I, I agree with that and I don't agree. Like, you should throw Mahomes in, but I don't think you actually should because you're winning with more. And let these athletes get fully healed before you throw them back out there to either re-injure themselves or to possibly get hurt another way, you know what I'm saying, or, not, or just not be ready. Let them fully get ready, especially if your backup quarterback is doing his job. Shout out to all the backup quarterbacks actually that came in this year. Boy. Kyle, Moore. I got the whole um, list right here. Matt Ryan's gone. His, his ankle's messed up. Yeah, but uh, his backup ain't came in yet, though. No, I think, yeah, not yet. Lamar Jackson, he was sick. Matt Stafford. J uh, Jacoby yeah. Brissett. Oh, uh, those are all those are all hurt quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah those are all hurt and they're backups. Yeah. Well, some of their backups. They're all gonna start this coming up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This Sunday. Yeah, but they they haven't played yet. But I feel we are leaning towards. But I'm just saying for those three. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you will lose guys. your job over injury. They say they won't do it, but it happens all the time. Yeah, and that's a fact. It does happen. But that's time. not the reason why these people but try to rush back because they know you will lose your job. But and that's true. But your best, you can rush back. And either possibly lose your job or rush back and maybe possibly lose your career. Your best ability is? Availability. And there we have it, man. Uh, we got uh, some dope games coming up, too, man. Uh, San Francisco plays the Seahawks. I know you predicted that the Nationals will win. I predicted that the Houston Nationals will win. But this is before the playoffs started. Yeah. So this ain't just the World Series. This is both of our picks we had. And we actually met up in the World Series. But I give it up to Trish Mohi. I just had a feeling like a feeling they just got hot. The Nats, man. So I mean, the yeah. Nats was hot. Shout out to the Nats too, man. For sure, for sure. And it's still nice. weird. And no team won a home game. None. That's never happened First in a professional ever. sport. I would have been a series. I'll be honest series. with you. Unless I was a team, a person in that other, you know, what I'm saying like, you like when traveled. I would watch the Bucks play in San Francisco and all those other places, and they win, cool. But it would suck to be the hometown team, like. That city was sad every night. Every, every, no matter which one it was. Every night they were Houston sad. Houston was sad. Or what's call it? That, but when, if you did travel, do you know how happy you were in the other people's town telling them, yeah, this is ours? You got to think about it. It's never happened in this series, that any games that had a series in the finals like that. Right. I got another game for you real quick I want to get over before we move on to the next stuff. Um, who do you think is going to win this Minnesota-Dallas game coming up, man? Minnesota plays Dallas coming up soon. Uh, I think uh, one of this game is going to really, uh, one's going to go to playoffs, one maybe not. Here's my answer. Chase Keenum had a concussion. He ain't playing. Lose, ooh, another backup quarterback. He ain't playing, so. But I tell you about them backup quarterbacks. I Maybe hate to say She might want to get hurt one time. Let me see what them Tampa Bay back in there. <laughs> hey, yeah, but uh, them Cowboys... I don't know, man. I had their defense being so much better at the beginning of the year. Maybe they'll come around in shape. But Zeke, as long as Zeke's getting fed, they have, they'll they win. Minnesota don't got a quarterback. But they do have a running back. They now, do. So who are you going with? I'm going with them girls. Cal Go girls? Dallas. And they are, what are they, in Dallas too? Yeah, they're in Dallas. With the world's largest um, TV. I almost wanted to go against them just so we can argue, but it's going to be hard for me to go against them with that because I also think Dallas is going to win in Dallas. I wanted to go with their defenses, but Dallas' defense is decent. I don't know if it's better than the Vikings, but no, they have I, a I starting hate, quarterback. The numbers aren't. So, you, I mean, forget the numbers, analytics. Didn't we just say that's how you felt? That's why you went with the Nationals? Yeah. We're going off of feelings here, all right? Straight up feelings. You keep your numbers. <laughs> We're going off of feelings here, all right? Um, anything else you want to touch on on the NFL before we, we, we move to the to uh, NBA just to talk about, um, no, we already, it was not the NBA, but I also wanted to just actually ask, ask you a little bit more about that load load management situation. Yeah. And, like, um, how do you feel about it, and do you think it's a good idea? And then after that, we're going to go to some UFC and stuff like that. All uh, right, now, the last thing I'll say about football is, uh, man, somebody needs to help A.B., Period. Antonio Brown! How do you go on Twitter blasting the NFL saying, I'll never play for y'all again? 
Then eight hours later, and start apologizing, saying I'm sorry, I want to play. If you, this, why are you surprised? It's not his first time doing this. No, I'm not surprised. Somebody should look into him. Maybe no, he's on somebody drugs. Somebody should take he's this not... man's Twitter account and just say stop tweeting, bro. No Twitter. Uh. Stop. T no Twitter. Uh. Stop tweeting. No, I'm, I'm just, just saying, like, right, if man. he was my friend, I'd definitely want to sit down. Like, what's going on with your emotions, homie? I can see you're going through ups and downs. I don't know if he has any friends. I've seen all these little videos of him at his house and. I don't see him with anybody. Maybe this is why he's acting like this. Yeah. Get a friend. Yeah, man. I think you need a friend. You need to talk to somebody. Because your emotions right now, they're all over the place. And I, I've seen people like this, and don't end well. So I just want you to be safe, man. You're a hell of a football player. But go check yourself, man. Chiggity, check yourself before you rank yourself. And you kind of halfway already have. Skirt, skirt. All right, <laughs> man. Um... Back to the slow management for the NBA. Um, I'll, I'll give you my take on it. Oof. I'll let Trish Mo give you his take on it, and then we'll move on. I think it's a, um, it's a sticky situation. I feel for the athlete, and I feel for the fan, you know, in the league, you know what I'm saying, too. And I wanted to say this, too. Like, you work that hard, but you guys get paid that much. Take care of your body. Do what you got to do in the offseason, whatever the case. So you can perform to get this check that they're paying for yep. that the fans are coming to see because they're like, oh, athletes don't owe the fans anything. If the fans disappeared from this shit, then who would be paying for anything? Oh, Tal, they only say that who because be the, I mean, uh, the billionaire owners I, the owner, okay. that don't want to come out their own pockets. So the, the owners wouldn't be getting money, though. They no, must, they're, 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 they're already paid, billionaires. So they're, they, yeah, they're billionaires now, but see, billionaires are stingy and they want money. I know, yeah, that's money. why they say that. So they, they they're they're right. That. It's, to me, they're true. The, fan, the athletes really don't own the fans because the fans aren't really the ones that pay them. The fans pay their billionaire owners, not the players. And then the owners play. Pay yes, their okay. that's what I'm saying. So it's like this it's a circle, a circle of money. No, be it, life. no, it's keeping this man up top. I know, I'm just saying. The fans play the owners. The owners play the players. You feel me? Yes. So it's like this. You feel me? So, I mean, I see. I know. I see what you're saying. It's connected. I'm not, I'm not mad at the fans, and I'm not. I'm not mad at the players. I feel both. I mean, especially yeah. if you're 20 years in the league and you've been playing basketball for X amount of time, then your body might need a little extra rest so you can't perform at the top of your game. Fully understand that, but you might have to earn that to, for me as far as you get there. Like, you know, when, 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 when Pop was sitting, Tim Duncan and them cast, they was kind of at the end of their career. Kind of understandable. A little too much for me, but I still understood it. So, it's like, but now with young players doing it, you know what I'm saying, and maybe, you know, I mean, there's injury issues. It's, 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 it's a thin line. It's a big old gray area in the middle of there, man. But yeah. I feel if you could play, play. Yeah. And I, I feel like if they could play, they would play. So, obviously, they can't. But don't let me catch none of you players out there not playing at the game and then go shoot to the club or something and be out oh, there you know, chilling. Oh, you know what's going down. Chilling like a mug, dancing. You know what's Dancing like, man, your leg was hurting. I seen, I seen you grinding when she was twerking on her. I don't know. Yeah, well. What's your, how you feel about it, man? I, in the most part, I agree with you. But to me, I look at it a little different. I look at the big picture. They have a very physical job. So if you work construction or anything... It's nice to have days off in between. It saves your body. Like, I understand you're getting paid millions of dollars, even though I hate people who want to bring up how much they make. That so you should be willing to sacrifice your body for it. Mm -hmm. But I understand because that's what we're used to. But now we're in the day of science and technology and everything. Taking breaks off on a very physical sport and you play multiple games in a week, it makes sense. Like I, I don't like it. I say just go be a man, go tough it out. But I understand on the human body, taking these breaks in between, especially because you have an 82-game season or 83-game, it makes sense. And a lot of these games, those back-to-bats, you're not even getting all the rest you need. It, there's a lot. It's a lot more than just what goes on the court. Hmm. So, like, it, your mental health is just... Because when you're, like, an athlete like that, you got cameras in your face all the time right after the game, then even before game, during pre-game warm-ups, people want to sign autographs. You have a lot of obligations, so there's a lot of things that's pulling you in a million different directions. Like me as a fan, I want to see everyone that I'm here to see play, because that's what I paid for. I get that. I do. Mm -hmm. But in reality, that's not the society and times that we live on nowadays. Everybody's off of numbers and sciences and whatever. Why? And it's, I, like, yeah, some players need the rest. Other players don't need it because they're young. True. But in the grand scheme of things, it will prolong their career. So do you? what do you value more? Just the 
instant gratification of watching these people now or actually being able to watch them over a 10 year span? There's levels to this conversation and the situation. So, yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying as well, too, Trish. Like, I understand the logic behind it, but I, like, I'm always the first to say, I, I hate to say, when I even watch UFC and sports, I have no problem with someone just beating each other until they're like they're almost brain dead. I know you should never want to watch that, but I, hey, I'm one of those people, man. They fighting, they fighting blood everywhere. Hey, I'm the one cheering. We had a, and we had a conversation about that, an argument actually about that. Mm -hmm. And actually, when well, I'm going to ask my guest about that too, how he feels about that. And we'll bring that up. Actually, since we're going to go into fighting, can we go into fighting Let's right now? Let's go into fighting. Let's go into a little bit of fighting right now. I'm going to start with UFC, then we go on going to boxing. And then we've been blessed enough to actually have a guest today. Hey, we do. We're going to sprinkle you with that. Actually, has a great story to tell, too. So we're going to get to that. So before we get there, um, we had some UFC this past week. And we actually got some coming up. Your man, Hardy, who's the play for the Panthers. Oh. And them. But um, last week, man, um, I seen some amazing fights, man. Uh, the Diaz fight was amazing. Actually, every fight on that card was pretty damn good. Yeah, hey, um, man. Like, seriously. I, I, I need to... There's been a lot of good cards lately. Like. And I actually seen... A guy in UFC, like, he was, I, I, I'm going to pull his name up, he was, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. He was actually throwing, like, a lot of, he was using karate a lot. Like, you know what, I was, Leonardo Machida? I was, no, no. I ain't seen him in forever. He, he fought last week, but she didn't fight last week. I don't know where he, what happened to him. Maybe he just popped up or somewhere. You know, and with a, about with, him right now. With it's a new name or something, dressed anyway, like him. This guy was just using kicks and punches and fast, and I'm just like, he reminds me of like if Bruce Lee was there, you know what I'm saying, kind of, you know what I'm saying, like. Hey, don't bring up Bruce Lee into these saying, these types. Man, Everybody saying, I know, ain't nobody ever gonna be better than Bruce Lee, not even close. <laughs> That's just what it is. Well, you know, people would argue with that. They, everyone would argue until you got kicked in the face before you can move. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, I don't. You right? Sorry, I don't know why black people love Bruce Lee. Like, even if you read his books, his quotes, his sayings, they're. Hey, man. Like he said, you got to be like water and just go with the flow. Don't be like, don't be like the stick. Like yeah. if you read about it, he, Bruce Lee's the man, dog. Don't diss Bruce Lee. <laughs> I don't even know why I like Bruce Lee like that. <laughs> I have no clue. Just lost me. Um, did you? Uh, you was looking up that fight. Did no, you turn no, it off? no, I was yeah looking that up. Found that. But um, onto the Diaz one, man. Um, he got a nasty cut on his eye. That was a great fight. And he was what, fighting Gether? Yeah, he was fighting, if that's how you pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, Gether. Yeah, I'm not even going to butcher his name. Hey, man, I I'm remember good, I told you. I'm good for it. You only want me to do that right Nate now. Nate Diaz, shout out to him. He had a great career. He's fought, he, he's a great, I like the way he fights, his style of fight. But first off, Gether is a bad mofo. Nate Diaz, you know you're like 600 years old. You're like when Tate Abbott was trying to come back. His name was like, yeah, well, his name was like Matt, uh, George... Masvidal or something like. That. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't Gether. Yeah, it's not Gether, man. It's not Gether. It's not. That Gether. was the dude that beat the crap, the dog piss out of uh, Connor, then jumped over the ring when everybody outside his whole crew. Mm -hmm. Another, yeah, you don't mess with him. You're way too old, Nate. Like maybe this is ten years ago, cool. I would, I would definitely went here for you. But when I seen that on the card and who he was fighting, I was like, Yeah, I seen, I seen that dude's interview on ESPN, and this guy was just like. The way he was talking, I was like, wow. I was like, I need to pay more attention to this guy because he's like, the way things he was saying, I was just like, okay. He's a solid person. He sounds like he's undefeated. He <laughs> but um, when he was fighting against Nate Diaz, he was kind of putting the pause on him, and then Nate caught that cut. But the way that Nate reacts to the punches and just gets yeah, he has heart. act like it doesn't hit him and just kind of comes back. It's yes, like, I love his style. He eventually played with the opponent's mind. And being a fan, watching from the outside in, it looked that looked cool. That yeah, was I told you, I love the way he fights. I mind, he I has I heart. I wouldn't mind seeing more of that, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that wasn't Nate Diaz's last Oh, yeah, no, it's going to be his last. Hopefully it is. Because, you know, he's been fighting for so long, dog. Like, that's what they gave him that fight. Like, no, what? We'll give you a nice little sending off gift. But when I seen it, I knew he was going to lose bad. I'm just glad he didn't get knocked out. How do you feel about, um, if I'm saying it right, Adesanya or Adesanya? Yeah, it's on your thing. The dude that be doing the Naruto stuff in on. Hey, and, and, I uh, love it. And, uh, Even though I've seen him get John beat Jones. up. You think he gonna get John Jones? Nah, man. I do. You're like John I Jones do. three years ago, but just more flashy and less results. Nah, I, I think he give. I think he give John Jones. Like I've seen, I've watched his fights. 
Like when, when he's doing all this extra like, stuff, he only comes out like first round. He's doing all this cool stuff. If you make uh, it to the second round, he don't got nothing left, man. Like he he's not, he doesn't go that deep in the rounds, and if he does, he looks lost. And right now, John Jones, he, he's he's mad that he's getting kicked. Uh, he kept getting kicked out of the league over some type of PDA or whatever. So he's out there. He wants to put hands on people. He's trying to change the way he fights. He comes in there calculated. And his knees and elbows is vicious, man. Don't don't undersell don't undersell yourself with John Jones. Even though I love the other dude, he's flashy. He's entertaining. Don't think he has that like he's not none. And that's what fighting is supposed to be about. Entertaining and flashy. Don't nobody want to see a boring fight, man. We want to see you get up in there and, and, and handle your business. I understand there's art to it. Yes. And all that good stuff which we're gonna we But some people some they just like that primal, you know, blood, guts, punch and kicking. Which is, you know, that's what it is. On to some regular boxing. Not MMA regular boxing, but, you know, gloves, no kicks. Um, Canelo actually just moved up weight, and he won his last fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, Andre Ward, yeah. he said he's not going to come out of retirement to fight him, but that would be a good fight. Um, how do you feel about um, him just moving up in weights, kind of like a Pacquiao thing, doing his thing? Continue to fight, but he's he's still young. Pacquiao's old, but still shot to Pacquiao. No, but uh, he's still doing his thing too. Actually, most fighters, as you age, they usually go up weight classes. So to me, it's it's how this natural progression. Okay. Like over time, it happens. He's not the first person. But he's he's gonna be going back down too to defend titles. Like oh no, yeah, it's, yeah. Like going up one or two weight classes in boxing like that, the weight does make a difference. But some people they can do that. They can cut it and gain it because. The classes are so close together, you're not losing like 20 pounds or nothing like that. I mean, you know what? I don't know. We're going to have to find out soon. Actually, yeah. a real boxer, he could tell us. Yeah. He could tell us. Um, anything else you want to touch in before we bring him in? Because actually, I wonder, I'm wonder. i ready to bring him in, man, and, and conversate with my man Dwayne, man. Oh, just one last thing. Uh -huh. Told you Minnesota was going to beat Penn State. Oh, Minnesota did beat Penn State, hey. 31 26. We're going to give you. Matter of fact, we already gave you some predictions. You check those these out. Underdogs, these underdogs. You let us These underdogs right now, it's the year of the underdog. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. Hey, you hear that? Take that, take that in a mental note, boo. And hey, that means Panthers Detroit. still got a chance. I mean, it's, it's a 5-3. <laughs> check yeah. for a wild card. I think the Saints are going to be doing their thing. No, oh, there are these, like, two games on us. So, I'm like, you know, it's not even mentioned now. It's like... We backup have a quarterback, chance. another backup quarterback, Teddy yep. Bridgewater. Well, Teddy is sitting back down. Remember that? Yeah, I'm saying, but while he did his thing, he was... Oh, like, he didn't lose. Yeah, he didn't lose. He did his thing. Another backup quarterback that did their thing, man. Hey, shout out to Teddy, man, because that injury that took you out, that was tremendous. Tremendous, man. Well, check this out, man. We got my man Dwayne Beeman coming in right now, and um, we're about to tell you what it's all about. He's about to give you a story, uh, tell you how he got into boxing, you know what I'm saying? And just, just pretty much give you a little insight. Hey, man, this is, this is something before. that you want to see and that you want to hear. Learn about it. Make sure you stay tuned right now. All right, man. What's good with it, man? So we're here with Dwayne Beeman, man. Yeah. Hey, you know man, how's it going? I'm good, man. Blessed, blessed. Blessed to be here, man. But thank you for coming in. Appreciate it, man. So um, I hear you got a fight coming up next Saturday. Yes, next Saturday. Um, shout out to Undisputed Promotions. Okay. Um, UCF College is right there on the college. Um, it's I'm going against Marvin Solano. I like to give a lot of credit for him taking the fight. Um, and hey, and how's that work? Like, they, like you said, when you take a fight, like, do they have to write you? Do they call you? I always wondered that. Like, well, when you I mean, took the fight. At the end of the day, uh, do you talk to him personal? Nah, I don't talk to him personally. <laughs> okay. But everybody know, like, I'm I'm one dangerous fighter, and especially in America, you know, undefeated in America. Uh, Undefeated once, in the won States. All six of my titles in America. Like, nobody wants to fight me in America, so. And, and, and you have a nickname because of that, right? Yeah. Well, what do they call you? Because they don't know how to fight you. Let <laughs> well, know to watch out for. <laughs> Mr. Stop Running. So, Mr. Stop yeah, Running. You yeah. feel that? I like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Really? Please but don't I'm run, folks. I'm done with my tour, man. I, I've been out the country for three years. I'm a two and a half years just tr tr going to people's hometowns, um, beating fighters, and got robbed twice. Um, and decisions, and but I got my revenge of those, and both of us, yeah. So I'm so I'm excited, like, I'm just ready to really show out and be the first. Um, there's never been an American fighter that won 
in, in my division that mm -hmm. ever won this WBC title. So that's okay. good for me. It'd be a first for America. Yeah. For the country. And yeah. not just first off the whole yeah. country for everybody. We're rooting for you. We're cheering yes, for sir. you, man. Yes, sir. So, so what made you even get into boxing? How'd you even want to desire, you know, get the love for oh, it? Man, you start I boxing? wanted to be a boxer since I was a kid, man. I used to see Mike Tyson. And I remember. Mike Tyson was And it's great. one of been so much what Mike Tyson was doing. Of course, what he was doing in mm -hmm. the ring. Uh, but... We didn't have social media at that time, so I wasn't influenced by his antics or none of that right. stuff. All I saw was a mean dude coming to the ring. With well, no and nonsense. What, yeah, there. with no nonsense. And people used to say, that's the baddest man on the planet. Yes, that's so the time, that yes, mindset, uh, I always wanted to take with me. Like, I always wanted to be like, I always wanted that that name. And I remember people like, you know, God, Dwayne's so good in sports. I was an All-American mm -hmm. in sports. Yeah. So, but that wasn't... I didn't like that praise. I wanted to be. I, I love the praises when I used to get in fights, and they'd be like, "Yo, Wayne got hands." You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, don't right. mess with that boy like that. That's what. That's the praise I like. Right, right. Yeah. So, so before you were boxing, or when you were all American sports, were you boxing as well too? Then, so you yeah, were seeing that? I got to college. I got well, no, nobody could see it. I was, <laughs> on, <laughs> I was in college, and if the school found out that I was boxing, I could have, I could have lost my scholarship. Mm -hmm. So I was sneaking off to the gym. Um, a guy was open the gym at midnight for me, you know what I'm saying? So I was sneaking out to the gym and uh and I and I was able to compete in little exhibition bouts where they don't really count and no praise and no attention, no record, no false nothing. names. Yeah. Nah, I didn't have false. I didn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they, they never said the name. They were just like oh, hey. see, it's like a real it was like, story. Yeah, it was like amateur shows that um if 'cause at amateur shows there's always fighters that don't get fights. So I would sit around and fight the, at the end of the show and fight the guys that didn't get fights. So, so it didn't matter the oh, weight wow. class. So during nothing. fights, there would be guys that didn't show up or didn't want to fight that opponent. And oh, no. They would just have, like, the matching. Mm -hmm. Amateurs back in the day was, it wasn't match. You show up to an event and the people would try to get you a fight. But be, sometimes some people be left out. Right. You know, because sometimes you have an odd number. You know, right. okay. uh, you know so oh, and some wow. people so left first out. first come, first up, yeah. pretty much. So they were just trying to match it up with records and match it up like that. Mm -hmm. They would try to do some, some way to organize but, it. Yeah, so they try to organize it. But I would just sit at shows and be like, yeah, oh, and I look and like, oh, yeah. He couldn't get a fight. I can see. I can always tell he right. couldn't get a fight because they'll come out like, "Oh man," you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I, I seen it. I seen yeah, it one yeah. time so, they had a fight. I yeah. Seen it, so so I was standing around. I'd be that guy that beat you up if you didn't get a fight. <laughs> <laughs> so That's you made all. their right. bad day even yeah, worse. Stop. Yeah, I made their bad day worse. <laughs> yeah, so. I like Damn. it. I like it, man. It's like that sometimes. In life. It wasn't personal. Yeah, it wasn't personal. I didn't know half them guys. You know what I mean? So but you I didn't knew, have a fight. You I didn't knew, have a fight. That's I knew fight. I was. I was made for because there were guys that would tell me like, "Yo, do you know how many fights that guy got? Do you know who that was?" And I didn't care. Yeah. I didn't even want to tell nobody because I could. I ain't trying to lose my scholarship. Right, you right, know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. I was like, "I win, you know, fight deuces, and I be out." I you know what I mean? Back to school. Back to school. Back to classes. Back to class. Back to everything. I remember so. I fought. I fought in an exhibition after I, I played. I I played. I think we played Gifford. Somewhere Greensboro, some t some college in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, yeah, North Carolina, man. Uh, so it was f it was great just to right come to North Carolina because I because I went to Southern Virginia University. So mm -hmm. to come to North Carolina, where I'm from, mm -hmm. and play, man, I was hyped, man. I had two touchdowns that game, man. I was hyped. As soon as I got back, like uh, I had to go leave and go to an amateur show, and in, I fought in, South yeah. Car in, in Greensboro. No, 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 and your desire really resigned yes. that because you, like you said, you are all American mm -hmm. in football and basketball, right? Mm -hmm. And and you were great at it. He's an athlete. He was shined at it. You know what I'm saying? Could yeah, have he excelled. Succeeded and excelled in that if you mm -hmm. chose to. But your heart was with the boxing. Mm -hmm. So after you did get your degree and you finished up with college, shout out to that. Blessings for that, man. Yeah. You started to pursue your boxing yes. career. Yes. And letting people know, oh, I'm fighting now. Yeah, this, is what, this is what you yeah, are. Yeah. How does that feel when you're able to actually share with the world oh, what you were doing? It's great because love, so folks. many people came out for my first amateur show, and that set me on a path to be my own promoter. It mm. set me on a path to 
learn the business about how you can keep 100% of revenue. Like, all sort of stuff that I learned, and I was my own promoter for my for a while. And But then it also showed me the other side of it, where if uh, that you got to switch, always switch up your promotion angle because people can get restless. People can see what you're doing and, and we got haters in life people oh, can see well, yeah. how people can see, see how, how successful you are mm -hmm. and then they say all right he good now i don't gotta support it you yeah. know yeah yeah and that's and i, I noticed like I that so there, I, there are some people they just like to hear the good underdog story yeah, and when yeah. you become they feel like you're mainstream yeah, once you too mainstream big, they mm -hmm. kind of say all right, oh, I, don't, I don't like mainstream people yeah yeah, yeah Cause cause I, it is a part the, of life because i can truly say that i never wanted to leave america like yeah. I remember so many people my fans and people writing me why are you fighting out there why are you fight they not fair they're not gonna do you right they ain't gonna do this I mean one one time they sent me to the hospital like cause I, yeah. um, I ate something um, I ate what they told me to eat and it sent me to the hospital for two days I had something Damn. called C. diff I didn't even know what it was C. diff yeah. that don't sound like nothing I want yeah it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a severe food poison uh, so like and after ooh, that I, I remember I remember people writing me and saying dude they are trying to rob you down there they gonna screw you da 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 and I remember that but then I was, I'm looking at those same people I'm like well if you guys consistently came to all my fights right I wouldn't never have to leave. Could leave, and that's what I. Yeah. That's, you that's get what, what I'm my, saying. That's what my next question was yeah. about to be is, why did you even yeah. stop fighting here mm -hmm. to go out there? But obviously, to, to show your talent. Basically, I yeah. saturated my area. I couldn't get the TV exposure in North Carolina because TV exposure was gonna come mm -hmm. if we had show consistent uh, attendance. So we'll have a big show, and then we'll have mm -hmm. a little show. But so, they was at the arena, so it made it look smaller. If it if the if the crowd didn't right. come, it looked smaller. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, and so. then I was getting messages about people talking like, "Wow, oh, yeah, I got I was waiting to see it online and stuff like that." So I was like, "Yeah." So like, it's more than just the wins and the losses. Oh yeah, it's way you more. Be, it's about asses and seats. And losses. It's about asses and seats, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm excited about fighting on. Shout out to Undisputed Promotions. I'm excited about. Out. I'm excited about on excited about fighting on that car because. My tickets is like moving like this, like people are like I'm gonna have a Look, crowd in there. We just talked about okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. Couple of my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is moving. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Undisputed. They're doing things, man. Yeah, They're yeah. Really entertaining, so, like. Yeah, they entertaining, man. They they have they put on great shows and um and I'm able to and they getting a lot of slack from other promotions down that way because that's how I'm, you know you're doing I'm, the right thing. Yeah, because I'm bringing a WBC title, so they like how you know people are talking about, how y'all get Dwayne Beeman? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like he's on he's yeah, on this yeah, level. Yeah, how y'all yeah. get him? But it's about good people, man. When you got when you have good people and you learn for good people, you do good things for good people. Right. So that's how it is. So that's 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 crazy because <laughs> I'm in the music industry and it's and it's like I compare it to my shout out to my guy GT. You're just telling me, man. It's like it's more. It's more than just the music. Yeah. It is, it's you got to fill them seats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to be entertaining. You got to have your team behind you. You got to sell merch. It's, it's, it's more than just wins losses. So my man Dwayne Beeman could be a million in the O right now, but if he ain't filling seats, mm -hmm. you might not be able to hear about him, which sucks and hurts. And 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 it's like because there's people out there that got love for the sport and yeah. they have no, they have no clue about all yeah. these other things. Yeah. All they do is see wins and losses and got mad love for my man. Like yo. He needs to be up here fighting these cats. Mm -hmm. My man's ain't lost. Yeah. My man's ain't lost, and I'm guaranteed my man's I got more beat, praise, you know and I'm telling you, I beat great fighters. Great fighters, even in the beginning of my career. I was fighting people that they told me not to fight, mm -hmm. and I would go out and I would fight them in North Carolina right. and knock them out in front of everybody. <laughs> my knockout ratio was crazy, so I was just beat, boom, 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 boom. And then it took me to take a loss for everybody to say, oh, shoot, that's that Dwayne Beam. And your losses. And it's sad. It's, not funny. it's sad that it does. It, it's sad. It's like that. I had to that take people, a loss. They celebrate your downfalls mm -hmm. more. I got more. I got more people when that because my first my first loss was when I got sick. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and, and, I, and I'm on the, the at, yeah. Okay. Armando <laughs> can tell you too. Like I dominated that fight. I get that guy maybe one, two rounds. I dominated the fight, but I couldn't knock him out like I normally do because I, I, I was weak. I was weak as hell. I'll be honest. I didn't have the. I had C devil, <laughs> and I beat the brakes off the guy. And they gave him a decision. Like one judge had me clearly winning every mm -hmm. round. Mm -hmm. Only gave him one round. Mm -hmm. um, 
like it should have been. Yeah. But the other judges had it 76, 75, like, so they basically gave him one point win. One point extra. Mm. So split we decision. fought, we fought, yeah, split decision, so we fought again. They rematched it instantly because it was so, it was an outrage. Mm-hmm. His fans was coming to me saying, hey, yeah, I, was, yeah, like, yeah. I, I was rooting for, I was rooting, I was rooting <laughs> for him, but <laughs> yeah, that was so great. Yeah, yeah, real, real recognized. Although real. it was a boxing, like, there is that, I wouldn't say corruption, yeah. But don't let it go to them judges. Yeah. Because yeah, them right. judges in Especially boxing, when, and, and I learned that when I was traveling. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't leave. And, but, like but, said, it, but it affected me. So skewing this dude. It, fit, it affected me in a bad way, though. Mm-hmm. I can say that because I then I started. Not, shout out to all the Mexican fighters. They're great fighters, but I started fighting like Mexican. Like, I stopped using my footwork as much and uh-huh. everything. I started saying, look, I got to take you out. Right. Because we rematch, and I didn't back up toe to toe the whole time broke his nose and everything mm. so you know what i mean like i didn't play right so but when i had when i did that i started fighting like that mm-hmm. you know what i mean and it affected your and fight. it affected me and i started noticing so then i get a chance at the number one guy in our division mm-hmm. and i'm fighting in a matter of i'm trying to fight with revenge and too much emotion mm-hmm. and yeah. that I, didn't, I didn't i didn't need Yes. But also, they did a lot of stuff behind the scenes that oh, that put you in a yeah. in a mindset of like, look, I want to kill this yeah. dude, you know. So I'm put the paws on. Yeah, me. yeah. So like, but all that is learning experience, and that's why I'm so excited to come back to America because all the things that I learned. Because hey, even though I'm not a Mexican fighter, I did learn so much from that style. Mm-hmm. That if it do get gritty, that I need to get gritty like that. But mm-hmm. everybody loves my style because I'm a I'm an aggressive fighter. I'm an aggressive counter puncher. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I heard y'all bring up Canelo. Canelo loves when I was training out there with Canelo. Uh-huh. He in San Diego. Uh-huh. He loves me. He always says, "I like beam. I like beam." You know. <laughs> so like, okay. I, it's my style, man. I, I I'm a I'm, I'm a fan favorite. You see me fight, I'm a fan favorite. Good. I like I like counts. It's just gonna walk you down. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, there's even a style in that too because uh, I've seen people try to walk somebody down and catch one. Yeah, while doing yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And see, that's what I'm saying. When, and in America, I, I always walk you down, but I used to have this mentality of I walk you down when I broke you down. Yeah. I came over to the West Coast and I had to travel in everybody's hometown. It was I'm gonna hurt you right off gate. And I and I lost some of my defense because mm-hmm. I was you know, kind of so hurt. Yeah, yeah. So much so, but I, but I kept winning too. Right. I kept having success at it, but right. it still wasn't the success that I needed. And now, okay. which is which is brings me to this question, in which I was arguing with my people about um, fight the fighting art period, sport period. Do you look at it as a violent sport, or do you look at it as an art? Like you said, your defense, because obviously you look at it somewhat as an art, too, because if you didn't look, care about your defense, you'd be like, oh, offense, I want to knock him out. Mm. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, boom. And my argument was that for the majority of people do watch boxing and all this stuff for the violence. But I believe that there is true people out there. Oh, there's true if not, if not the boxer himself, that is in, the is, is, in, is in it for the sport. Yeah. For the art of the you boxing can. itself, you they can. love the fighting. They don't. They yeah, don't, don't necessarily peers. love. You know, the, it's not about the money. Mm-hmm. It's not about me trying to knock the teeth through you. But it is me. I'm working on my defense. Yeah, two, my two men in there battling. Being, you know, saying yeah. uh, uh, that, that, each that other. whole aspect. Mm-hmm. I believe people tend to lose mm-hmm. and get lost in everything else. What? How you feel about it? I feel like the art is mainly it. You can't help but be passionate, mm-hmm. and and all the other the art and and the skills and all that stuff goes out the window sometimes. And the matter of fact, I ain't gonna say sometimes. It always gonna go out because we're window. human. When you get excited, we're human. When you have when you're doing something that at the end of the day, we're doing something that God did not intend for us to do. We're not supposed to be violently hitting mm-hmm. each other. Right. So when we take out that element of so much the art and stuff, it co- it still comes to the fact that. I'm trying to hurt you. You trying to hurt me. At the mm-hmm. end of the day, yes. and at the end of the day, mm-hmm. so like in a fight, I can have all the art and the skill, but if I get touched the wrong way, <laughs> it's all out the window. Oh yeah, because <laughs> remember we already. And are when fighting. you and when you start embracing that uh-huh. and understand that, uh-huh. you become such a greater fighter. Uh-huh. I used to like my like that's why I used to think like man, I can't let nobody. Uh, you know, emotionally get me off my game, but you're gonna get off your game. You're doing something unnatural. Yeah, yeah. something because this one. You are doing something unnatural, so embrace what you're doing unnaturally, mm-hmm. 
and, and proceed. And proceed. Mm -hmm. so, one of those yeah. things, uh, you already touched in your face. Well, you're already fighting them. What more yeah, do you want to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already, you you're already gonna, in the ring with your hands art, up. The art and skill, that's what you got practice for. Mm -hmm. You practice, 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 practice for when you perform in the fight, you them practice things still come out. Right. But I truly, this is the numbers I'll give you. I think we'll practice on something 100% and you will only see it 15% of the time mm. in the ring. Like they say, everyone has a plan until you get hit. Yeah, I think you'll only see 15% of the, uh, what we practice what on. Practice. Yeah. But then you at least that, what you're at least that or... hopefully that 15% is better than that guy's 15%. Mm. His, your game plan is 15% better than well, his 15%. Okay. That's all it makes matters. sense. Mm. That's what I feel. That's what they always say. I like Everyone it. got a plan until you get hit and let's see how you would when you get in the ring, what you train, it's sure it's good. And and, and but let's see said, how much you how long. And I know that's a it. Mike Tyson. I told you I used to watch Mike Tyson. Shout out. Hey, Mike Tyson. Tyson. I but Tyson, Tyson saying that, 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 that's, a was quote. that's a quote Tyson said, like, uh everybody got a plan until they get hit. But truth is this, every got everybody got a plan until they step in the ring. Mm. Mm. I don't care what yeah, you got. Right now it. I got a plan and I got everything, but Let's be real. I haven't fought in America in three years. Mm -hmm. When I step through those ropes and see my parents, mm -hmm. you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen my parents. You got another emotional tie like that. You get that. what you I'm don't saying? Let them down. When I see my parents, when I see my family, when I hear people chanting, beaming, not speaking a different language, and right. I don't understand what they say. <laughs> right. You get what I'm Back saying? Home, yeah. It feels more I'm, natural. Like let's more be like, real. Mm -hmm. What would my you plan, plan be? Train I, for you that. can't plan for that. Yeah, I, got I can you. practice all I want to, but <laughs> right. I can't plan for my parents to be ringside saying, we miss you, baby, right. and whatever yeah. they're yeah. going to yeah. say. Right. You can't. You don't, can't want, you don't want your mom to see her baby getting hurt. Yeah. Right. Right. So, right. like, and, and my mom never seen me get hurt. Right. So, like, all them ideas is stuff that you have to process go yeah, through process. It. you gotta put them and in the this, box and this hope that you can hold on to that 50 percent hold on while you in the ring because once you step to that ring that's a different story yeah. so it's, go, it's go yeah. time them lights on you that's a different story so maybe that whole baker mayfield when he was talking about turning off the tv and all these distractions you maybe have more to it than like everyone just plays it out to be like you can just turn off the tvs no the, there's the, a whole bunch the of the lights the media yes. the tv all that good stuff like it plays a me, part i know people who were very nice until the lights came on Mm -hmm. Friday Night Lights to just just shut down. I go front. I'm like one of them cats. Like basketball all day, having great fun. Soon as the lights came on on the court, I'm like, it just didn't feel as natural as it mm -hmm. felt when I'm running 21 or yeah. or we running five on five and we just out there having fun. Exactly. Like uh, even though it's just some referees, but when them lights is on and the people there, mm -hmm. it's a little different. Yeah. yeah, it's a little different, man. That's, That's a why fact. I love the, I love the smile. I, I'm, I'm always smiling and I fight smiling. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I, I'll be joking in the ring. I'll be like. Yeah, I like if somebody can mic me and listen to conversations <laughs> I be that. having. Oh, that? man. Boy, you know you guys. Like, matter, of fact, just, that, matter, matter of fact, on YouTube. Matter of fact, matter of fact, on YouTube, there's a YouTube video of me. And they 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 recorded everything and had commentary at the bottom. <laughs> you y'all you, you guys would be rolling on what I how I talk. I give guys nicknames. Uh, the guy, <laughs> the one that's on YouTube, the guy name was Rudolph. Uh, Rudolph Hedge. It was for my first title. I won. Uh, his name was Rudolph Hedge, but I kept calling him Rudy. <laughs> I kept saying that's not good enough, Rudy. You know what I'm saying? Like I kept messing with him. And, boy, I'm getting but, but boy, if he was trying to knock me yeah, out, right? You but that's it. You but that's why I do miss the whole fighting in America. I miss being me. I miss that. Right. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't have the same now, effect as do. Can't understand you. Now, are you telling you? me when you're out? Of country fighting, they don't allow these things. Oh man, like it's funny because we were talking on interview. Like they were so biased. The referees were so biased. Not the referee was so biased. I don't know why. Maybe it was just me. I had bad referees every time I fought over. Mm -hmm. Hey, I heard that a lot. Like yeah, a lot but of boxers I don't know leave what America. was going on. No, I was just American terrible. boxers. No, no, okay, no. Okay. no. I, I, was fighting, I was fighting these yeah, guys hometown. Sure. Every you. fight that I fought outside of America, was I was hometown? in their hometown. Gotcha. We're not talking about. Home city. We talking about hometown, hometown. like where Ooh. they from. You know what I mean? So you got the whole city yeah, in the building, hotel yeah, in the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what little, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's like just like the so. Big so I, there was times, and I love to talk. I gotta talk, even though I knew that they probably don't understand English. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking. There was a few times the referee stopped me and told me to shut up. I mean, literally. Because you know how the I did, I'm looking is. at him like I ain't even know you know that. Like I didn't, you know. And he telling me, shut up. <laughs> 
I would take a point. I was like, whoa. For talking? That's a full sentence. Up. And yeah, and my man, I remember my coach, oh, Coach Joe Vargas, shout out to Coach Joe. Coach Joe said that, Coach Joe was like, that's not in the rule book. Like, you know, you can't <laughs> tell him. <laughs> like, you can't tell him to stop for talking. Talk? Like, <laughs> Especially because you know no one else can even understand what yeah, he's saying. Yeah, you know, but you don't know what he's you saying. You got to look at America's yeah, team when you're yeah, black. Yeah, you're trying to be flat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're just talking shit. But the fans love it. That's why I love, shout out to all the fans that I fought in front of. They were so cool. They were so cool. I love them. They took pictures of, and they still write me now. Mm -hmm. I always oh, wow. do the little Google Translate. I'm like, I don't know what they talking right. about. But I'm a right, Google. Right. But I always Google Translate and I reply back to them and I tell them thank you. And I'm still saying thank you to all the fans. I just don't want to go back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's the goal right now. We want another shot at the number one guy, and we don't want no. Uh, Bull crap referee. We don't want no bull crap commissioner. Now we you say your number one shot at the. Uh, I, I mean, shot the number one guy out there. Or out here. No, we want to fight him in America. But from out there. Yeah, he is from out the country. Okay, yeah. have you fought him yet? Yes, that's what my last fight was at. And you, you won? No, I didn't win that fight. So that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, so that's the we way. Want, we want him to come hey, I heard here. That several you times. Like, fight us on American grounds. That's like, yeah. yeah. But, but see, that's like what, Joshua, it's a different but that's story. What, yeah, but that's what I love about um, the president because he said uh, that he want to make sure that I get a shot, the rightful shot mm -hmm. in America. Because, oh, boy, like, yeah, because if, if I came all the way to your hometown, I'm talking about he lives. 10 minutes from the venue that we fought. What, what, uh, what, what, what country are we talking about? This was Mexico. Okay. Yeah, so we just want to fight again, man. You know, I don't, I don't have no bad blood against everything. Uh, you know, they already compensated me for doing me dirty. So right. I ain't even about to speak on that. <laughs> oh, you wow. know what I'm saying? So they yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so certain stuff, deal. certain Some stuff, certain stuff it. was wrong. Right. Yeah, that, right. like, especially when, I've never heard of especially when we agreed on an American referee and it wasn't an American referee. So a lot of, a lot of the stipulations weren't met. Therefore, a rematch, yeah, is, a rematch is imminent. Yeah. We, that's we, why I got a. That's why I got that. a big. That's why I got a big title fight coming up this Saturday. And um, of show. course, of course, if I don't look impressive in this title fight, nobody's gonna want a rematch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So me, not only you gotta win, you gotta yeah, look impressive. Yeah, I gotta, you gotta, I gotta you, win. You gotta sell and, yourself. Pretty yeah, much. I gotta sell myself. I, I'm, and that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna dominate this fight. Mm -hmm. um, and I and and I would be very disappointed if I don't knock him out. If I don't stop him, I'll be very disappointed. Now, but, for those that can't be there, is there any way we can still watch it or tune in or listen to yes, it? Yes, or go to Undisputed Promotion. Just follow Undisputed Promotion. They'll give you all that closure. I Undisputed don't, Promotion. I don't know. I'm, I'm pushing for everybody to be in attendance. Right. I want y'all. I want asses and seats. Look, I, I can't fly there, but I definitely, <laughs> want, I definitely want to see what's going on. Yeah, I, I yeah. I can see right here. Look, I'm in the seat. Yeah, we yeah, love yeah. to see my man Dwayne yeah. Beeman go at it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I think it's dope. I heard a different side of it. Like, I never heard that they actually, like, you'll get compensation back they know what they did is wrong yeah because yeah. every time i see and it i'm just you, like oh and they man, asked they you and they asked you not to speak on it oh and, okay and and see? i did i did i haven't spoken right, right you right. know and then right now even right now i'm speaking about it we ain't about on it, it. yeah we ain't on, on it because yeah. I, I don't like the victim role i'm not gonna play the victim i don't care let's right. move on right if, right. if, if you think oh shoot Oh, I don't think he could beat him. Then look at round four, five, six, and seven. You see, and you can and you can see how bad I was dominating. So and this is the first time so, you even named that. You you were yeah. you didn't you didn't chunk, come and talk about. Well, man, this ain't no, no no. Listen here, we need to fight over here. Yeah, see, then that took some of the stigma that I had towards boxing or because. neutral ground. I don't care. It don't oh yeah, neutral ground. Neutral ground. Yeah. Yeah. Be but still, neutral just to walk inside. I'm one of those people. I always say, man, like you said, I don't care what the judges say because I've seen so many cards like that. Like, How's this one job judge rule it so far this way and this yeah. way? Like, if you guys are both professionals at what you do, it shouldn't yeah. be that far off. I watched it. I agree with this. And judge. shout out to Martin. where did that judge? And so, when I and when you say that, shout out to Martin because I don't want him to even think that I have any bad blood because he didn't oh, have no. he didn't have to rematch me and get his nose broke. He didn't. Right. Uh, yeah. Because even after the fight, he has said. I would give him a rematch because a lot of people said I didn't win. And he said that. Oh, he, yeah. He publicly he, he, said that. And we rematched it, and I didn't leave it to no decision. Like, I played with him. I beat him down. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that's why we have rematches in the in this, in this league. Like, I mean, that's how it is. How much you think of boxing is mental? Oh, 98%. I think only 2%. Um, physical? physical? Oh, wow. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's how I am. Because I'm going to tell you, I've been more, I'm more athletic and stronger and quicker than anybody I ever faced. 
but I had some tough fights. And I knew because that person probably been doing it longer than me. Even the, the number one guy in my last fight, I was winning those rounds, but I could still see certain stuff. He was preserving himself a lot. He was just like, through experience. Yo, yeah, he was just like, dude, I can't match this boy. I can't match him. So he changed so to adapt. So that's four. I got to fight this. Mm -hmm. He's able to adapt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's that's something only and experience. Then when, and, then, time and, and then we and then like you got to go through stuff. I never had a cut like that, and we headbutted. Mm. And I had a cut in my eye. That's why they had to stop the fight. Mm. So okay, so they stopped the fight. They that's stopped the that's fight. how it wasn't even mm. no yeah. decision in twelve. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So they had to stop the fight because they said I couldn't continue with the blood. Mm. You know. But they supposed to go to the school cause. You ain't supposed to just say, Oh well, we don't think Dwayne can continue because he got blood. You supposed to say, Oh well, let's go to the school cause. Yeah. See the school cause. I don't know if I was up on the school cause or not. No, but then we supposed to. Check. So the score cards will determine whether you stop yeah. the fight over a cut? No, 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 if, if it's a cut, if a cut is caused by not a no punch, uh -huh. not a punch, then you for the go, and they, and they feel like he can't continue, you for the go to the scorecard, score and, and they see what it was, so what it yeah. was that so mm -hmm. far up to that but point. But while we was fighting, they kept saying something to the corner about my cut, and my coach, we tried to stop it, but I can always feel it, I was like, man, that, we ain't stopping <laughs> this, I can see it. So I was like, yo, I gotta knock this dude out, so I was fighting him like, yo, I gotta knock this dude out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but, the time, but, right? but what really, really got me is when, when I went to the corner, and I mean, one of my best rounds, man, knocked them down. And they and they said it won't a knockdown. I they, hate that. That really made me. When they're I, like, oh, it was a slip. I came to the, yeah, else, I yeah. came to the corner. I was like, oh my god, like they're not gonna. And then the commission. Then I feel a fat finger sticking to my eye like this. <laughs> it was a commissioner. He was standing right there, and he just dug in my eye. He was like, I don't know, like ah, and he just poked in my eye real hard. And and then my coach like, what are you doing? Like, right, what are you like? Right, right, what are you doing? We like, trying to stop that from bleeding. Yeah, right. yeah. You, you just stabbed him. But that, yeah, but when he did that and like messed with my eye, he did like this and like kind of opened it. Like, like that's when I was like, okay, they don't want me to win. They don't want me to. And James Tony told me that. Shout out to James Tony. Yeah, yeah, way, yeah. Uh -huh. He told me that. He said, man, he said, I think you the new little lights out. But they're not gonna let you go to Mexico and beat this guy in his hometown. They're not. They can't. They got too much on the line. He told me that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard in other countries it really is. There's it's more tough. than just there. It's tough. There's more than just the ring. But it's right? just people it's, backing it. And... Same thing. It could have happened in America. That's oh no, why I've seen I, those fights yeah, in America. Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's why I said. That's what I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said it was an accidental headbutt. It was a headbutt. He didn't. It's not. I think he's a great fighter, and I'm not nothing from him. He didn't need the extra help from the ref. Trust me, he didn't need that. <laughs> but um, I just think we should just fight again. And right now, uh, but let me prove myself. I'm the type of person to look at it both ways. If I was him, mm -hmm. I'd be like, sure, I wouldn't want to fight Dwayne either right, right now. But let me get these. I'm about to fight two, maybe two top ranked guys because I'm highly ranked. So I'm you plan on finding two more guys before yeah. you after oh, okay. this rematch? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Uh -huh. like, and hopefully that'll make a statement like, hey, look, yo, Dwayne made a statement, yo. He got to fight him. It, even if, if, now it's, it's even if he's not the champion at the time when right. it's time to fight, right. just, somebody, whoever holding the whoever holding the number one spot, they got to give me a shot. I'm, I'm, I'm number four. Give me the shot at number one. Right, yeah, right. Right. I didn't come as in long as you game, stay active. Yeah, yeah. I didn't come in this game to be number four. I know I see right. that everybody's expectations. Everybody's like, whoa, man, look where Dwayne came from. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I get that. But I didn't come in this game to be number four. All right. And I know a lot of people will accept number four and call it a day. Hell no. But I, not me. No, so Reebok, we, <laughs> we don't got you on Global Sports right now just yeah, yeah, yeah. for number four. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not things. for number four. At the end of the day, baby. everybody wants to be number one. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you what really are What are you winning it for? Yeah, what yeah, you winning exactly. it for? But people for? do have alternative motives. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they do. Know, I mean, your money, whatever the case yeah. is. But I can tell my man Dwayne no, he, is he's, real, real about this shit. Yeah, so yes, he want to really be number one. It ain't. It's not. It's not. Your for people got to come out, man. They got to come <laughs> out, <laughs> man. They got to support we you. Gonna, we gonna definitely. Give me my man. Who's down there? Uh, Quincy down there. Quincy, Quincy? and my mom, uh, his mom, and my pops. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know you're gonna be. I'm, uh, bring them all. I'm gonna shoot y'all the number. Y'all make sure y'all come see Dwayne Beeman, man. Man, I appreciate you coming through, man. You, man. This is very it's enlightening, right. man. Thank you, man. It's, it's, it's yeah, awesome, man. It, man. Baby, we will come through and watch that fight. What's the record so they know? Uh, tonight, to November 16th, mm -hmm. I'm fighting for the WBC Continental title on um, on United uh, Undisputed Promotions. 
Shout out to the promoter, Anthony Arello Jr. Um, and it's going to be a great, it's on the campus. It's on campus. It's going to be a great show. I'm going to put on an amazing performance, and I'm going to be the first American fighter to ever win this title because my division is dominated by foreigners. Mm -hmm. So I'll be the first American fighter to ever win this title, and that's history breaking right there. And the first oh, champion boy. from... North Carolina. What weight? What weight division is this? What title is this again? Oh, uh, the suit. I'm a WBC Continental uh, title, and I'm from North Carolina, which uh. they'd be the first North Carolinian to win mm. that too. North Carolina. Brothers yeah. from North Carolina. So yeah. Like Panthers are more on. reason to go with yeah, you know, Panthers right here, bro. Yes, uh, it's big, man. <laughs> man, appreciate it, man. Make sure y'all go out there and check him out. More Panthers man. fans everywhere. I don't know he's Panthers. Fan. And I'm fighting I'm just the man. Oh, and to to my opponent, I'm um, fighting Marvin Solano, who's a dangerous fighter. He has he has already won four titles What's himself. What's his record? He's oh, wow. twenty three and three. <coughs> okay, oh, twenty two and three. So he already won three, uh, a couple times himself. Um, and uh, he fought in the world title. Pretty much got screwed too. Mm -hmm. uh, from what I heard, I don't know. I didn't see the fight. Uh, but either way, let's go. Did you watch? Do you watch film on your opponents or not? Yeah, I watch a little film. I just watch their latest fights, and I don't watch nothing else. Okay. I never. I, I didn't see when he won his titles. I didn't see none of that. I just watch his two latest fights, and I feel like that's what I'm gonna see. But if I don't see that, we're gonna just. In, in my field of work, we got a saying is. You're as good as your last show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to check out that I, last I show. I feel that. See what you did, and we're going to judge you What you did that, about man. three months ago, it may be it. good, I but it, everything changes and evolves day by mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. This is a, a real life thing. Yep, yep. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, good luck, man. Thank you. Next one last quick question. Go ahead. Yeah. Where's the craziest place you had to fight in since you you fought overseas and you did these smaller fights? Uh, like, what is the craziest venue? Shh. <laughs> Believe it or not, it wasn't crazy, but it was odd. <laughs> uh, uh, we had a fight. We had a fight in a uh, a church. It's called Abundant Life Center in Raleigh, North Carolina. I've, I've Shout out church. to Abundant. Yeah, we had to fight a huh. fight at the church, so no alcohol was allowed. But uh, it was in that gymnasium, man, and it was. Uh, the, I was the promoter. Like we put on the show. And you want to fight good. that night? Yeah, I fought. So yeah. how, how yeah. was he's the, the promoter how was and the fight? Were you yeah. talking mess that night and just being careful Ooh. what you said? No yeah, cussing. Yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the church. <laughs> nah, you ought to hear them church folks talking. Like, they, it, was, it was words oh, out there. No, no, no. <laughs> it was just no drinking and stuff, right. but yeah, it was it was enough yeah. language in there. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. For sure, for sure. Uh, <laughs> All right, you got any more yeah. questions, man? I'm good, man. Nah, man. <laughs> You just this is a great story to hear. He got mm -hmm. his hands, and he says everything I want to hear any fighter say. They yeah. just love to fight, yes. get in there, and put on a show. Yes, right. And he could have took nine other routes, but he took this yes. route and was successful at every other route that he took yes. too. Yes. yes, and is successful at this route yes. too. So. Uh, Y'all, we got, we, no we we got, we got a champion this, in the house, and we got probably something way bigger than we even know right now yes, interviewing yes. us right now. We're going to look next like he's the next blow, two years, we're gonna be like, and like, you know, we just yeah, had yeah. 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 come back over here now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Once I win this title, maybe I can come back and do another thing, because they already telling me uh, that we can get this world title fight January 20th. I know I ain't supposed to say that just yet, right. but I don't care. Uh, January 20th. World title? Isn't it be in Vegas? Nah, they talking about Dubai. Oh, the room. Yeah. That's, 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 that's good. That's just that's good. good. You gonna yeah. Vegas? I'll take Dubai. Yeah, yeah, the yeah so, Vegas. so. I'll take Dubai. But I don't want to think ahead too far. I just want to uh, win this one fight. One step at a time. One step at a time. To win this fight, and then if Dubai calls and they get it done, let's go. Let's get it done. Well, you know you're always more than welcome to come yes. back here, man. Yes. You got open arms, man. Yes, yes. Come on back and tell us all about it, man. How they Thank treat you, you in Dubai, man. How you just whooped this guy's ass. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Coming up, you Maybe in Dubai. I ain't got no type of money to even say the word Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> like, if y'all don't know about Dubai, that's the rich version of Vegas. Yeah, it's like, rich. I love my city. I love Vegas. That? It's they got hundred million dollar yachts. I'll just just post it out it's there. It's very like, it's very rich there. So like on your Instagram, the people playing with the tigers and the monkeys and stuff. <laughs> it's in Dubai. That's <laughs> their parents. <laughs> like, I'm not joking. They they Dubai is doing it big on big. How you go big on big? You move to Dubai. <laughs> hey, I know you missed there. Big, you want to go big on big? Move to Dubai, man. All right, y'all, man. I'm I'm good, man. Um. You want to call it a wrap? That's a wrap, man, for this for this good old episode Thank of Sports you. Talk Raw, man. Hey, man, you can call it a wrap, man. I just got educated on boxing because uh, 
I told him, you know, I'm house when we were watching boxing matches, I always tell him, man, I hate sometimes I hate boxing because if it goes to the judges, I know they're just going to screw somebody who they want and win, and it happens all the time. But now that I got the insight, they actually give you some back pay. Some, not even say back pay, but they actually compensate you. They admit it to you personally. You're just not supposed to talk about it. It makes me feel a lot better on the inside. like Because yeah. I like boxing, but I don't like sports that are just rigged like that. And that You can obviously see it's happening. And that me, I didn't know they actually actually admitted it to the boxers. Yeah. Yeah, so and, it's poli- and it's politics and everything you do. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everything, yeah. every walk of life, there's some politics. Yeah. And you got to take it. Because when you're on the A side of it, mm. you ain't complaining. Never. Man. You're not. You're never. not complaining and, then. And, yeah. So that's why I, it wasn't, it wasn't no need for no conversation because I don't play the victim anyway. Mm. So yeah. it wasn't like I won't go say talk about it. But right. But at most end of the day, in the politics, you don't it's get co- It's cool. It's cool when it's, when you're on the good side and it's happening to you in a good way. So long. Yeah. So. It goes both ways. Take the take good with the good. You got to take the good with the good. Yeah, it makes me feel better. Saying, at least yeah. they admit it to you. Because most of the time, yeah. when they're wrong, they don't admit it to yeah. you. And you just sitting there with all that what if maybe yeah. yeah. At that's least just, they tell but that's you why, that's but, straightforward. But it put me in the mindset, and I I was gonna save this for my post fight interview, but I said now you it just put me in this mindset to tell everyone, anyone, and I mean this. If this was a part of the movie where the darkness start scenes start coming, right. this is what I mean. I am literally gonna fuck up everybody that comes in the ring to fight me now. I'm not playing. Favorite fighter, right? He, he, will, he, he, I'm not, he refuses best, to leave it up to the judges. I refuse, right? I refuse. He refuses to leave it to anybody. I refuse. I don't care about win losses or nothing now. Like all I want to understand is that when you leave that ring, you know that you got beat up. Period. Yeah. Period. So that's how I feel. That's why I want to hear from every fighter in the whole wide world at any sport level. If everyone did that, let's go. Like, yeah. Saturday's going down. Let's he's go. talking about the technique let's versus go. the brutality, and he's like he's saying like he's like Maximus right now, real life Maximus three hundred. Are you not entertained? Yeah. Boom, man. Let's that's, get that's what I love to hear. <laughs> I'm so serious. Just take all the bullshit to the side. Let's go put paws on each other. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we know we are in the battle, and then we gonna drink a beer and go about business, and that's that. I don't drink, but yeah, I can do it. Okay. Sometimes. Kind of almost. <laughs> we drink, so. And I ain't no fun either, so. <laughs> hey, yeah, we got different lifestyles. Hey, yeah, different. sir. Like, we're fans. We watch it. We commentate. You know what I'm saying? You won't see me with no gloves on unless my son gets a tub in that mess. There you go. <laughs> and then I got to show him there why I'm go. Papa. You know what I'm There you go. But, man, thank you again for coming thank through, you. man. Thank you, guys. Make sure y'all keep up with Dwayne B, man. Thank you man. Here, man. Yeah, man. He's, he's, but he's already a great fighter. He got some great things coming up. We and we will all from a great witness man. and watch it. Matter of mm. fact, next time you see us on here and on the Sports Talk everywhere, we will be giving you the results of what Dwayne B. Man. We will be actually yes. be keeping up with him now. Undoubtedly. Now he's a good boxer, he's a good person, and I fuck with him a long way. So. Yeah. And the word pretty is, call me a bandwagon, whatever. Anyone that Global Sports has brought, <laughs> and I, when I talk to him, I get to meet him. Jake? I, yeah, J- hey. Shout out my guy, J- Jake. I ain't forgot about you, Jake, man. <laughs> like, I end up liking these people, and I yeah. start cheering for them, because I hate to say, I don't know too many real fighters like mm-hmm. that. So if I'm able to talk and communicate and know them a little bit, oh, yeah. win, lose, or draw, I, I'm on your side now. Yeah, yeah. shout out to GSS. Because it makes man. it more personal real, to me. Man. Like, I don't ever want to, I don't ever want to see this man lose. I met him. He's a great person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so serious. I mean, that's true. I feel like I, just, I get it because it's so true. Like, that's, I don't want to see one of you lose ever. Ever. Right. Yeah. ever just, no. look, I just met him, and I don't never want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> because it's something like, I always wonder as a fan of any sport, like, man, if I actually knew an athlete like that, how would you talk to him? How would you react? Yeah. I would be in stereo. You say, yep, he's a band. He's a fan right there. Yes, I'm a real fan. Call me a cheerleader, whatever. I don't ever want to see him with say something. Right. Right. <laughs> right. But yeah. it's, it's more personal then. Right. And right. I always want to be raw with my fans and um, and everybody. Like, that's why people would jump on my pages and stuff and say something, and they know they get a response. Mm-hmm. And, I, I, and I've always been like that. I always want you to know how I feel. If, and I don't, and I take the good with the bad. Like if you, if you have some bad words, understand that I'm confrontational. Right. I like that. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. So, like, and the fans appreciate that too. And man, you know what, I'm what more do you want to do? Me, we like, already here fighting. Especially <laughs> just just getting a, re- a response back. Yeah. From from you know what I'm saying if the actual boxer himself. I'm I'm sure the fans are, are loving that. Yes. So yes. like. 
no matter what you do, man, you definitely sports, keep that up, man. You have to be edited. That, you can't just that, go that, You like can't respond to people. Them, you need them, them, the masses in the seats. Yes. yes. And, and and that's a real way to keep them, to keep, to make us feel like we brothers. Yes. When yep. you might respond, because he boxing, he training. How you got time to send me an email back? Yeah. In German. Yeah. I always in learned German. that. So that's, yes, yes. I appreciate that, and that, that goes a long way. He takes way. the extra step. So, it's not even in English. Yeah, he make has, sure you yeah. keep doing change, that. Change, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's just, but that, I'm not saying it's hard on him because I don't know like that, but it's effort. He yeah. cares. I do. Regardless, and that's being shown. That's what's up, man. So you got all our athlete, good sportsmanship, yeah, man. Yeah, man, I wish I could go to Florida now. Down to see it. <laughs> hey, we're going to try to see what it make it happen. Just like you were running cheering for Drake, and you know, he lost, man. I was like, man, I don't care. He got cheated. How about that? <laughs> he didn't get cheated. He didn't, but I don't care. That's all I'm saying up there. I was. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped, man. I'm going against a real tall fighter, too. He's a real tall guy. See, Jake was going against a bigger yeah, person, so. too. Yeah, uh, so you... But no, I love tall fighters. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. every fighter I fought, there was... I mean, well, you're not five, a big seven, guy, you know, yeah, five, five. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's like five ten, so Ooh. every fight I fought like that, I knocked him out. So that's a good. Sign. Okay. I love fighting taller guys. I don't like fighting shorter guys. So kind of, they kind of. Oh, so so they're probably merit, saying the right? same thing then too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's probably a lot more tall. openings, yeah, right? Yeah. You figure it's a lot more. No, no, open. just the taller guys. Yeah, they easier to hit. Like it's a lot they, more openings. You don't really have to worry about even if you're hitting them. And they block and you hit you still hitting something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, so much. And it's but and I throw a lot of punches, so it's so much you can keep taking. Mm -hmm. Your shoulders, your elbows, your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. You like, block this ten times, but yeah, after yeah. it's still, still gonna hurt. Have you yeah, ever been like uh, in like a gym like that? Like do judo, taking any blows tires you out. Yeah, yeah. Not just throwing blows. You can if your fighting someone knows how to fight, just use taking all those blows. Yeah. At the end of the round, you're gonna be breathing hard and not that your body can't take mm -hmm. it. You're physically and I gotta tired. Work, and I got to work on my arithmetic uh, because for some reason, every time I fight a guy my height or shorter, I always receive headbutts. Like, always, mm. always. So it's something that I might have to look into that maybe I'm doing wrong or maybe, you know, it's, just, it's on me. Yeah, like maybe I put it on me because, it, because honestly, it keep happening to me. Right. Like, so <laughs> the what's the common denominator? Yeah, what's the common <laughs> denominator in all these situations? It's me. me right? <laughs> so that's something I'm going to work on me and fixing. And, um, and I think one thing it was just maybe I lean a little bit too much. And even with uh, my last fight, it was a, oh my God, he threw so many rabbit punches, punching me behind the head. <laughs> After getting tied up? Yeah, yeah, just like punching like He this. just kept punching me back the head throughout the whole fight. <laughs> so, like, I want to make sure that never happened to me again, too. So. Is there a lot of fighters out there that fight like that, rabbit punches and dirty shots? Yeah, just but, to kinda but keep maybe you? Some, some, you don't, honestly, you don't know if they're doing it for, um, on purpose. Like, on purpose. At the time, or, yeah. Yo, even if it's, it's even if it's consistent. Yeah, no, they said, listen, believe it or not, they told me a journalist told me my last fight and they even wrote about it that I got punched twenty two times in the back of my head that fight. Damn. So like I I don't know. I felt it though. I'm <laughs> gonna tell you. I don't know if it was twenty two, but I know I, I felt, felt it. it. And there was times I kept saying to the ref, like, you talking to me, but I want you to do something about these punches in the back of my head. Right. You know? Right. So like you know, it's. I just want I I know with the new camp I have. Shout out to Bones and Adams, the new trainer that I brought on. That we have been we we conscious of that now. Mm -hmm. We're a little more secure and more balanced when we throw up shots now. Right. So like it's, it like I said, like anything anything that you do, even do things that y'all do with this. What y'all, what y'all show? Like, uh -huh. I'm sure y'all look back and say, "Hey, look, maybe I should have yeah, did yeah. this." Yeah, absolutely. And maybe uh, these are the mannerisms I used too many times. Mm -hmm. You know, all sorts yeah. of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'm an honest person with myself, and I say, "Hey, look, let's fix certain things." And that's why I'm so excited about November 16th because mm -hmm. I fix those things. Mm -hmm. I mean, real results? conscious at, uh, yeah. I, oh man, <laughs> I saw it so much in my sparring. Uh, so now it's, it, but it's oh no wow. Matter. So you got to see the results. Yeah. You know? So sparring, spar, spar, not even a little bit. I not mean, under them lights, it don't. Yeah, you, 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 you just, had, just had this conversation. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. This conversation. I go in there. So I go in there. Yeah, yeah. All that, all that stuff. I'm talking about. Nobody cares what I did. I don't care how good I look. My coach is saying right now, like Dwayne, my coach predict I'm going to stop him by seventh round. 
That's my coach's prediction. Mm -hmm. The way I'm looking by sparring. Mm -hmm. But if I don't do that, then who cares yeah, if I right, get this yeah. sparring? <laughs> right, Let's right. win this that fight. Is you get what I'm saying? Right. It's irrelevant. So that's what I mean that we work so much on fundamentals because I always work hard. And I used to, and I noticed ever since I moved out the country, I was working too hard. I was peaking mm -hmm. too early in training. Mm -hmm. And then I was uh, about too, yeah. too worked up. For the fight, mm -hmm. I was not as in my peak. Right. So you can so, overtrain. Yeah, but Over this, okay. but this camp, man, we have been on schedule, on schedule, on schedule, and this is no excuses, y'all. I'm about to give y'all a great show. Yes. Uh, no excuses. So shout out to all my fans, everybody under Speed Promotions. Thank y'all for having me. I'm gonna give Orlando a show. Yes. Yeah. yeah yes. You heard it first. November sixteenth. My <laughs> people will be out there. I'm gonna have them snap me. We got you, man. Oh, we gonna keep up with Thank this, you, man. Believe I told you when we meet them, it becomes more personal to me. To me, yes. as a fan of sports, like I love all sports. I don't care if I was in a foreign country, no one spoke English, and they're out there playing kick rocks. <laughs> There's two teams yeah. that's being watched. I'm gonna go watch, even if I don't know nothing about the sport. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go learn hands on. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, the emotions. Okay. Oh, yeah, the emotions. The, the emotions. Like, it's very emotional. Like, being anywhere, if the fans are into it, you're watching something, if you may not understand it, if you're a fan of sports, you appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yep, yes, sir. yep. That's a fact, man. <laughs> That's why I always say, if I ever left America and I was in another country, believe that I'm watching soccer, because I know soccer's play worldwide. <laughs> yes. I'm going to, like, yes. if I can't watch American sports, I'm going to watch boxing and soccer, because I know that's, that's worldwide. Everywhere. Yes. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep, like in, I won't care if I have, have a little radio. And I'm going to find a way to get in contact. <laughs> Look, we, got it, we got it. We got <laughs> it. We got it. We understand. You watch this for us. I thought you were about to say if, it, if it's a sport with two kids fighting over Kool Aid, I'm, I'm watching it. it. <laughs> hey, you made me on we got it, man. We got you, man. Oh man, we got it. Oh shit, man. Well, shit, I'm, I'm good, man. Are you good? You got anything else you want to ask? Say nah, anything else, man. man. I feel blessed. We had a great, thank you, guys. a great guest. November 16th, man. Make sure y'all tune right in. We're right here, man. We're in the little Dwayne spot. Dwayne man. It's going down. It's gonna be an entertaining fight. Shout man. out to Global Sports. Shout Thanks out to Global us. Sports streaming. Armando, my God, Armando, man. my guy, yes, man. man. We do it, man. And uh, this is Sports Talk Raw, where we smoke, we drink, we keep it real, and we tell y'all how we feel about these sports, man. In every you aspect, dig. like we chill in the living room. <laughs> so until next time you see us, how's it go, Trishmo? Fin, fin, fin.